Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to list down my top three picks of books that I recommend for complete Python beginners. Now I'm not creating this video because I'm out of content. Believe me, I have many projects lying down to be converted into videos. I am creating this video because I have read this book and I think that it can be very helpful for Python beginners. It can really give you a kickstart to your programming career or introduce you to this magical world of Python programming. So let's get started with this. So first in the list is Python Crash Course by Eric Mathis. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. This book according to me is the best book for Python beginners. Now let me tell you the reason why. First of all, this book is in two sections. First section will explain you the basics of Python programming really well. It will explain you the basics of functions, basics of classes, how string works, how uh, variable works, all the basics of Python. And the fun part comes in the second section. In the second section, we have actual projects. Actual projects like alien shooter game using Pygame and Python, visualization of graphs and a small web application using Django. Now, my first big project was a car game with Pygame. So as a newbie, if your first project is a impressive looking game, it really gives you a kickstart to uh, continue with this uh, field or continue with Python programming. So yeah, this was Python crash course. First section, Python basic concepts, brilliantly explained. Second section, projects that you can work on, you can improve those projects and really build your portfolio. Okay, now let's move on to the next book, which is Learning Python by Mark Lutz. Again, if the pronunciation of the name is wrong, then I'm really sorry for that. Now, this book is also really book for complete Python beginners. It gives you really good explanation of the basic concepts of Python. But the unique selling point of this book is if you are uh, transitioning between Python 2 and Python 3, which I was doing when I was in class 11. Now, uh, when I first started programming, I don't remember the year, but it was in my class 11th and Python 2 was popular that time. Then after that, I just stopped programming. I don't know why the reason. But in engineering second year, I started programming again. And at that time, Python 3 was just introduced. Now, I know it's not a big deal to transition from Python 2 to Python 3. There are not uh, much changes. But still, if you're someone who is transitioning from Python 2 to Python 3, again, this book is perfect for you because it gives you example of how a code will work in Python 2 or how a question can be solved in Python 2 and how that can be solved in Python 3. Okay, so this was Learning Python by Mark Lutz. Now let's move on to the third book, which is Python Programming, a complete Introduction to Computer Science by John M. Zella. Now, this book is written for those who are really new in computer science. Not only to Python programming, but they are new to computer science. So, this book will start from the very starting. It will introduce you to the concepts, to the definitions of computer science. And then gently introduce Python programming to you. And again, the way of explanation. The concept in this book is rock solid. So yeah, this was Python programming by John M. Zella. But before I end this video, I have to tell you one thing that this is my personal opinion, right? I have read this book and I think according to me, these books are good for beginners. Your level of learning may be different. So before buying, just consult some other people also. Okay. But these are my top three picks of books that you can buy to get started with programming. Okay. And the link of all these books will be provided in the description. So you can buy from them. Okay. So this is it. And I'll meet you in my next video. Bye-bye.